At our Board of Mayor and Commissioners meeting on July the 14th, a majority of the board members voted to enforce or to adopt, I should say at this point, a total smoking ban on all publicly accessible businesses here in Clarksdale. We have long ago had, or since long ago, we've had a smoking ban on county and municipal public buildings. But this ban would extend to those businesses operated within the city limits. It would not extend to private homes, uh, nor I believe to private clubs. Uh, that was July the 14th. At our meeting this past Monday, July the 28th, uh, we set out to adopt the specific ordinance which would, in effect, control the ban on smoking and dictate the various restrictions and requirements and enforcement responsibilities and the like. We reviewed a proposed ordinance prepared by our city attorney and listened to some comments and recommendations of his as well as some of mine. And where we are with the process now is that uh, we're going to undertake to tweak the 10 page or so ordinance that's presently uh, before us into something that we all can agree upon at the next meeting and we'll vote it into place in some form or fashion at that time. Some of the issues we found in a proposed ordinance that has been used by perhaps some other cities but was sent to us uh, by persons who, uh, who promote smoking bans uh, were individuals' rights to sue business owners if smoking is allowed and things of that nature. And, and we don't think businesses should be punished because some uh, irresponsible or law-breaking citizen decides to light up a cigarette in a business establishment. Uh, businesses should be expected and will be required under this ordinance to post no smoking signs or the little European look with the dash mark through the cigarette and generally enforce this ordinance. But they should not be held responsible, in my view, if someone wants to violate the ordinance and light up a cigarette by being sued by another person within the establishment. So we'll get these little small details worked out and should have in place a smoking ordinance which will prohibit smoking in public buildings, except that smoking will be allowed in 20 feet or more away from an entrance or exit door or on an outdoor patio or non-enclosed area uh, as long as that is 20 feet or more away from the main building itself or the entrance to the main building itself. So be on the lookout. We'll have it in place probably on the August 11th meeting. It'll probably take effect the 1st of September. As you know, we have started a recycling program here in Clarksdale. At present, we have ordered three bins for recycle the recyclable materials. Cardboard will go in one of the bins. Mixed paper, which is white paper, paper with print, ink, and mixed color paper will go in another one. And then we'll share the third bin between plastic, like plastic water bottles, and cans, aluminum cans, typical soda cans. These receptacles are gonna be placed in the dead end street at the end of that street out by Walmart on the west side of Walmart. They will be accessible by the public all day, all night. We urge our citizens to store the recyclables at their homes and then deliver them whenever their home containers fill up to the recycle bins. We're soliciting proposals from some local recyclable uh, packagers, if you will, so that we can sell this material and hopefully make it a sustainable project from an economic standpoint. But uh, more information soon, we should be getting these bins in about the middle of August and we'll be educating the public as to their use at that time. I had a call the other day from one of the network television affiliates in Memphis who inquired of me about the five drive-by shoot into houses incidents that she claimed occurred over this past weekend. I investigated the matter further and found that we did in fact have a couple of drive-by shoot into house incidents, but that we have suspects, and the same suspects actually in both of these two house shoot-ins. It was also a vehicle that was shot into. No injuries were reported, 
But the uh, television announcer seemed to infer there were like five houses shot into. I questioned where she got her information. She was unable to tell me. I reminded her that Memphis just ranked in the top 10 again in car thefts, homicides, and all kind of bad crime categories. And she should at least get her facts straight before publishing anything about Clarksdale. Our fire chief has informed me that over the past four months, he and his assistant chiefs have issued over 1,500 warnings to people who have junk automobiles in front of their homes or who are parking their operable automobiles on grassy areas and not in designated driveways at their homes. From now on, tickets are going to be written. We're going to issue citations. Uh, the warning is over now. Uh, we hope we got people's attention. Uh, throwing out a bucket full of gravel and calling it a driveway, I don't think it's going to pass muster with our courts. If we have to change the ordinance to say paved drive areas, if enough people start abusing the spirit of the law uh, and, and calling something a driveway when it's really not, or when it was never designed to be a driveway as respects their particular house, uh, then we'll look at changing the ordinance. The whole idea is to have people park in designated parking areas or on the street, keeping their neighborhoods orderly, non-rutted, and, and non-junked up. The idea is to keep property values up so that our appraised values remain sufficiently high so that our tax collections remain consistently good. If a neighborhood starts to go down and the appraised values go lower, it hurts everybody. It makes those responsible citizens have to, in effect, pay more in taxes for nicer properties, and the uh, assessed values of whole neighborhoods are dependent on the cleanliness and neatness and uh, law-abiding nature of citizens in those neighborhoods. As I've often said, the most important house to you is the one you live in. The next most important house is the one next door to you.